is a habitat. It's where something lives. Get the board out so we can see it. Where they find food. Oh my god. They have space. What else? Shelter. Yay. Those are habitats. For? For salamanders. This is Tyson, our Hello. guide. And this is everybody. And we built salamander habitats. Alex, uh, what are some of the things for a salamander habitat you have to have? Well, the five things that every salamander habitat needs is water, oxygen, space, shelter, and food. So in our habitat that we built, we've added water. We've added, um, there was actually some bugs swimming around, but you probably can't see them. We've added um, shelter, which um, most salamanders like to swim under the rocks to keep protected. And we've added plenty of space so that he can be free and have oxygen. And we've added a snowman for comfort. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Morgan. Okay, well, basically what she said in a nutshell, um, we have a humongous rock for it to get under, so it can go and burrow under there, which they like big rocks, and that's good. So, um, and they like to have, like, a lot of water sometimes. Okay, well, there we go. There's a little cell matter. <laughs> they like to have water, and they <laughs> like to have space to move around, so we give it a little bit of space and some bark to put uh, right here. And we put a little bit of sediment and some dirt and an igloo, and, and igloo. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, i'm guessing there's some bugs in there for food and so that's our salamander habitat all right then. okay savannah your salamander habitat. this is our salamander habitat and we have water and <laughs> there's our salamander <laughs> we have water <laughs> and we have um leaves for them to climb underneath the rock and have space there's a little macro invertebrate right there there are a few underneath the rock for it to eat the little bugs that live in the water. We have a plant so it can swim around the roots because it likes to be on the banks and it likes to be around like places where it can hide and there's plenty of space. There's not a lot in here and it's got lots of oxygen from the plant and the lack of other salamanders in the bucket. <laughs> Alright then. Any other words Tyson? Nope. But these are pretty good. And uh, did you have something to share about salamanders? Oh, yeah. They live in like a uh, three foot by three foot like square their entire life. That's all they know. They don't know any other three, but three by three square. All right. Then. Hey guys, we're Do we have here on the west prong of the Smoky Mountains and we're looking at tree cookies, pitch pine and chestnut oak. We're going to be checking underneath the temperature to see if there's any salamanders living under there, what kind of habitat they have underneath here, if there's any food for them to eat. We have students all over the mountain looking for their tree cookies. And right now we're struggling a bit to find our... Hey guys, we're on a quest to find our next tree cookie. Do you think you can figure out exactly where the tree cookie might be on our trail? All right, you want to show them where the tree cookie is? There we go. We're at a station 1-4, and we're doing a pitch pine. So we're checking once again to see if we can find any salamanders. I think we Negative. have no salamanders again. What was the point of that? Any salamanders? No. Take the temperature. Why don't we just knock next time? Yeah. Salamander. Can we catch it? That killed me. Yes! Go get it! Oh, yes! Wait, get it. No. It came out! Oh. No! Oh. Where'd he go? Where'd 
Ready, go. That's pathetic. Hey, Wait, you what haven't is... found one. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Where? It's right there. Come on. Hope water stop me. Did you see one? No, yeah. they had it in the bag and they let it get out. Oh. Don't, don't. Hold on. He's not even near my bag yet. No. Oh, no. <laughs> She's hitting him in the face. Like, no, like, no, I haven't hit him yet. Hold on, he's going to have brain damage by the time he's we get He's not going to come out of that. Oh, You're going to have to... Get in there. Pick the rock up, yeah. No, don't pick the rock up because then I'll be all no. muggy and I can't see it. Oh my gosh, my hand is so cold. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I can't put my hand. <laughs> I caught the first sound and I saw. It was success. <laughs> And he's a whole inch. <laughs> oh my gosh, my That's it. so bad. You may not think it's Salamander, right, well, but it is. Let's get them warmed up. And there's we have the gloves. Salamander gatherer. Okay. It's a blue. <laughs> <laughs> not have a tail, which means he doesn't have any fat and he eat a lot more food in order to survive. So you can kind of see him wiggling around and he doesn't have a tail. He's a big fatty. Hey third graders, my name is Josh Davis and I'm in charge of the different science projects that we have up here at Tremont. Right now I'm sitting here at my computer entering in all of the data that we've collected for the last few months on our stream salamander monitoring projects. Uh, we have about five different streams with six different sites that we go out and we look for salamanders and count them up and identify them and uh, trying to determine what's going on with the populations. Are they going up? Are they going down? Are they staying the same? Josh, why are salamanders so important to Tremont? Because my kids have said that we see all these signs with salamanders. So can you tell the third grade why they're so why you're so, the emphasis is on salamanders up here. Absolutely. Well, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is the salamander capital of the world. We have 31 species of salamander here inside the park, and if you were to count up all the salamanders, put them in a big bag, gather them all up, and weigh them, they would weigh more than all of the birds and the bears and the elk and the deer and all that other stuff combined. So they're a big, important part of the ecosystem up here and uh, there's a lot of different kinds of salamanders here as well, so we're pretty excited about them. Well, why do you think they like living here so much? We have lots of rain, we have over 2,000 miles of streams that they can live, lots of rocks and stuff for them to hide under. It's really perfect salamander. Mm -hmm.